Houston provides the place. All In Athletics delivers the space for our national soccer team to train. It's been great. We love it coming to Houston, and we'll, we'll be back. But this U.S. national squad is not your normal soccer team because, well... Normal's boring. This weekend, the American Amputee Soccer Association brings its inaugural national team training camp to our city as the squad prepares to qualify for this year's Amputee Soccer World Cup in Turkey. So what exactly is Amputee Soccer? Uh, the fastest game on one leg. You can think of it a lot. Of, it's the beautiful game. And Nico Calabria, the team captain who was born without one of his legs, proves his one is better than most. Yes. The sport is played by amputee athletes, six players and one goalkeeper per team. The men and women on the field, with the exception of the keeper, use forearm crutches. Robert Ferguson is a Houstonian. In 2016, the 16-year veteran of our U.S. Armed Forces joined the team to represent his country in another way. I told the team, I said, you got, they have no idea what it means for me to be able to stand and represent my country. Robert, who played semi-pro soccer for a couple years in Europe, lost his leg during a training exercise at Fort Hood. He tells us amputee soccer has given him much more than just an opportunity to get back on this field. This sport saved my life. I went to a very dark place after being discharged from the Army. I've played all my life, and I thought I'd lost part of my life. Robert, who founded the Lone Star Adaptive Soccer Association locally, now joins his national teammates in trying to grow the game here in the States. Amputee soccer is not part of the Paralympic Games and doesn't fall under the U.S. Soccer Federation umbrella. We're hoping to become a Paralympic sport so that, you know, Players earn a stipend, they can take more time off work. Like Turkey, for example, has professional soccer, professional amputee soccer. They're the best team in the world for that reason. So we're hoping to build that out uh, in the United States as well. This field gives amputee athletes a place in team sports. But there's another place they want to go. USA! And not just this year's World Cup.